Did you ever imagine that, I mean, because that was the first one in America. Or, yeah, nobody had ever heard of it. And then no. There had been something similar to it. I can't remember the name of it, but it was like a disaster. Right. Like it was, you know, on TV. It, a pop star. Yeah. I don't know if that was the name. Maybe I should have said yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. was a few rounds. Pop stars, pop There was something the there, yeah. but it didn't go over well. It was kind of like cheesy and like it was more like about the drama behind the scenes. And right. it was like... You're kind of like, man, I really do love singing. Like, that's all I want to do. I don't want it to become this, like, real-world scenario. Were you nervous like, about mm -hmm. that when, when you realized it was a TV show? Oh, every think, single oh, one oh, of oh. us was, yeah. Espe even in the top ten, like, we didn't know the show, like, had blown up because we lived in a bubble. They kind of made sure of that, you know, because we were working and working. So um, we didn't know. So we were all worried. You know. What do you think when you look at yourself back on TV? Do you ever watch yourself back? And oh, go, I do okay. not like watching. I you will don't. not see this. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I don't well, like you know. looking. Well, and people are like, well, why don't you watch yourself? And I was like, well, I was there. I pretty much know what happened. So, <laughs> right. Sasha in the crowd. Where's Sasha? Uh, Sasha's got a uh, question. Come, Come on, on up, up, Sasha. Sasha. Yeah. Um, I just want to know, did you ever get stage fright and do you still get it? Um, I, I don't get stage fright. I've never gotten stage fright with singing. But with talking, I get terribly nervous. Like, I mean, I could almost vomit. Like, and Really? It's horrible. Like, I can sing in front of millions of people and not be nervous at all. But when it comes to talking, which is weird, too, because I'm quite chatty Cathy. So, yeah. well, I was going to say, yeah. you're like one of our favorite people to interview because you talk so much. It's different, though, in like an interview. And then, and then when they push you out there at like an award show or something and you have to like right. talk. And then it's like on the teleprompter and all of a sudden I'm like, why can I not read? Like, yeah. Where, yeah. where did that skill go? Like, yeah. yeah. Okay, We've got a group of people sitting up here. Uh, the panel we like to refer to them Yeah, I know. As. They've all, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're these making are me the, nervous. Looks like cool. the, the little, little idol judges. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys want to say? Who wants to... Oh. I'll go first. You go. Um, I wanted to know, what was your most memorable moment on American Idol besides winning? Like, <laughs> uh, besides, yeah, that would have been. Um, uh, memorable? You know, I think it was, we had a big band night, and I love big band music. I grew up with listening to a lot of Rosemary Clooney, so, which you probably don't know who that is, is but that whatever. George Clooney's mom? Uh, aunt. <laughs> no, it's his <laughs> aunt, actually, yeah, yeah. And I didn't even know that until, right. like, yeah, I didn't know that, but, um, yeah, no, I grew up listening to a lot of that music, so we had, like, a big band night, and I was so stoked. I was like, please, God, let me make it to that night, and then you can kick me off. <laughs> so that was my favorite night. You got okay. to dress up and play the part. We didn't get to see it very often. Were you in the bottom two much? I, I was actually never. Never in the bottom two? No, I don't know how Good. that... I mean, like, everybody kind of got the... And, and, no, but it was almost worse, because I'm like, okay, this is my week. Right. Like, every week you're sweating it. Yeah. 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 Well, you so. would have been in the bottom two on the, on the last night. Well, that's a top two. Yeah, top, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, true, Pessimistic. Jackie, thank you. <laughs> Optimistic. Thank you. What do you want to ask? To um, if you could sing with any other singer, who would it be and why? You know what? It probably would be Bono. I'm a huge fan. I love, I love his voice. I mean, who wouldn't pick Bono? Yeah. But um, I don't know. I, I love his voice and his music. I just think there's something so passionate about him. So mm -hmm. I, I'd love to sing something with Do you him. get to go to many concerts nowadays? Do you, do you, do you think, like, does Madonna come to town and you think I'm going to sneak off and, and oh, catch I'll try, the concert? Yeah, I'll try and fit it in the schedule. Um, I, I love shows. You'd look at it differently now, though, wouldn't you? Because you do your own shows. Do you think, I like that, I'm going to steal that little bit? Well, it's gonna... not even that. Actually, I don't do that. I sit there and it's really hard for me to, like, not be on stage. Sure. <laughs> like, I'm in the seat and I'm like, oh, God, like, I want to, like, right after this, go perform with my band somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I get, I get like that. But can you still enjoy it as, as, a, as a fan? Yeah, it's highly inspirational. I mean, especially if it, it's the same line of work. So I remember after I saw you 2 for the first time, it was in Madison Square Garden, and I walked away, like, half really inspired and half, like, mm, I'm going to throw in the towel. I'm good. Like, I'm never really? going to be that good. <laughs> so I'm going to quit now. Yeah. Do you ever do little secret gigs where no one knows it's you and you just pop up at a pub one night and you start performing. Do you ever do you that? You can get that on YouTube. I think we <laughs> talked about that <laughs> earlier. Yeah. 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 Memorable performances. No. Do that Without again. liquor, no. I don't think so. But we haven't, we haven't ever planned anything like that, no. Okay. All right. What's your question? Um, what is your um, all-time favorite song that you've sung? Oh, wow. Uh, actually, um, it's probably, um, it's a song I didn't write, but it was on my first and second album, Beautiful Disaster. I love it. Yep. It's like my favorite. I don't like the version we did for the first album, so that's why I cut it again, because it's such a beautiful song, and I just thought people needed to hear it the right way. And um, so we did it real, um, just with a piano and me, and or piano and I, rather. My mom's somewhere with a red pen marking that. Yeah. But um, no, it was, it's just such a beautifully written song. Um, and it's just really sad, but it's, like, it's just really intense. I love it. What were you like in school? 
chatty. Um, hard to believe. Me too. Um, yeah. Naughty? No, actually. I, I wasn't bad. I was a really good kid, actually. But I, I did always get, like, used for talking, and I'd always get sent out in the hall. I did. Where'd when I was, like, really little, I was bad. Were you a front row sitter, a back row, no. corner? Where were you? <laughs> that, that's a bad thing about me, too. I didn't, like, cause trouble, like, in a sense, like, I wasn't mean or anything, but I, I never was awake. Like, I was always paying attention. I had the perfect position, like, to be like, oh, <laughs> like, to where you're reading and you're not. And, yeah, no, I was, I was always very bored. I was highly bored in school. Because so. you weren't doing what you wanted to be doing, obviously. No, and, like, honestly, um, not now, but the Texas education system back then wasn't too hard, so. Right. Yeah, you so, weren't challenged. 